What's up guys, Bear's Boy here, and guess what, RS2007, it's tomorrow, I'm here in Lumbridge, cause this is gonna be so much better <laughs> tomorrow, uh, I'm really excited, I, as my friend Joe would say, HYPE, that's how I imagine he says it, anyway, um, I'm wondering, well I guess, I'm wondering what your guys' plans are, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit what a little bit about what my plans are. I'm definitely gonna spend a lot of time on Tutorial Island because that's it's a lot of free levels. I think a lot of people are gonna neglect that. Maybe not. Maybe too many people will spend time there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. A lot of people I think are over planning. I think a lot of the stuff you do first will matter, but it's gonna be you know it's gonna be a little strange. I think I think a lot of people have plans to go do some quests to get money to go buy you know, a weapon or something. I think that's really smart. I think a lot of people are going to be stuck with the weapons they have um, from Tutorial Island. I think that's going to be a big issue. I think that Scimitar Shop in Alcarid is going to sell out really fast. So I thought it'd be good to uh, kind of look around Lumbridge, see, uh, you know, how it's going to change. Of course, we all know what old RuneScape looks like, but having that little side-by-side -side comparison is going to be really cool. Um, back in the old days, a really good way noobs used to make money was killing cows but the most important part about RS2007 is that it's a completely fresh game and there's gonna be no money in the system so the big issue is gonna be making money right off the start it's gonna be you know either fending for yourself and being able to survive off the shops or making money quickly and being able to find people who can sell you stuff that you want. It's going to be very interesting very quickly. I'm sure a World 2 will develop again. See, this guy clearly making money, you know, old school style, selling cow hides, but that's only profitable because people want crafting XP. So it's quite interesting. One of the big things I think is going to happen is there's going to be people who start specializing very quickly. There's going to be people who can make runes, and that's how they're going to make their money. You know, they'll find a way to get talismans. They'll find a way, you know, they'll do the rune mysteries quest really fast. They'll get their mining level really high, you know, at least at first, and that's how they'll make their money. Um, as I was saying just before, I'm sure a World 2-esque type thing will develop in Falador. I'm sure that's where it will be. And a lot of people are going to, you know, they're going to sort it out like they did in old school, you know, potions outside the... It's really crazy because I still remember all the places people sold things. Um, rune boots were by where the farmer's house is, kind of over in that over in that area. And it was just rune boots, like that was the thing over there. Um, you sold potions and herbs right outside the East Bank. D-boots and God Wars items when they first came out were actually in Valley Center. Um... Gosh, what else? Let's see. Party hats were sold to the north, oftentimes even outside of the wall, which was interesting. Um, barrows were up north over there, too. Um, sometimes to the south, I think they migrated at some point. For some reason, I have a weird memory of of Barrow's items kind of moving down to the south, the south part of that valley garden for a little bit. Who knows? <sighs> Arrows, I think, were outside. I think they were to the west of the southern bank. Because um, I remember arrows and dehydes. A lot of dehydes. That's where I sold my dehydes all the time after killing blue dragons in Fally. Um, so it's going to be really interesting. I think a lot of, much like old RS, I think a lot of the money is going to be coming from people who manage to, you know, create things that PKers will use. Because a lot, and, and I almost guarantee this, the majority of the population coming back to RS-2007 will be PKers. There's already several giant PKing clans that have already pledged that they are, in fact, coming back to old RS. Just to name one, Foe is coming back, and if you don't know who Foe is, you know, you're, you're lost. The Dark Wizards are obviously going to be a huge issue for anyone coming up north here, because they've always been an issue. That's, I mean, that's a thing. Like, you remember dying to those fuckers back when you were a noob. Like, you just came up here and you're like, Oh no, shit! <laughs> My bronze sword. So that's gonna happen. Um, there's a lot of people, I think, who know the specific spawns, like rune spawns, those single rune spawns. I think that's gonna be extremely, extremely important. Um, because, guess what? It's the only stuff in the game. I remember thieving an arty for the nature runes because it was actually profitable. Like, you were actually making a decent amount of money. Of course, in turn with thieving XP, but... It was still, like, that was that was the thing you did. Like, that's crazy. I didn't know I had a bush here, so I'm gonna... Oh my god, guys, I found some Valentine hearts. Yes! I love EOC. 
So guys, I hope you gave you hope I gave you something to talk about here. I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed this little look back. I hope you guys I hope to see you guys on the game. I've actually got I don't know I think like ten friends now who are definitely coming back and we're all gonna have a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy RS 2007. I hope it lives up to the hype. I really do. I'm really excited. I can't wait to get my first whip and go PKing. That is my goal, hands down. Um, I've never been into the pure game. I've always been a main. So, you know what? It's going to be interesting to see. Let me know what you guys are planning on doing for RuneScape 2007. You know, we should honestly just start calling it RuneScape and then call the EOC like bullshit scape. How about that? Let's start that. <laughs> so I hope to see you guys on the new RuneScape. The new, the old, the refined, the better RuneScape. This outro is way too long. I will catch you guys. Oh, one last thing. I'm going to be doing a series in RS2007 called The First, and it's going to be all about getting the first of things. So first to, you know, X level or the first to get a whip, stuff like that. Because the people who get those items first are going to be way ahead of the game. People who can kill Abbey Demons, people who can make nature runes, Alking is going to be a huge part. I could go on and on and on about this. But the point is, it's going to be crazy fun at first, at least for the first, I anticipate for at least the first week, it'll be a lot of fun just leveling up, kind of having fun with your friends. And after that will be the crucial time to really see how this game is developed and um, you know, where, what we're missing, you know, all that sorts of stuff. You know, there's a lot of skills that aren't automated yet, so it's going to be very interesting. Once again, I could go on and on and on, but I'm going to cut myself off because this video is going to be so long if I don't. So, I hope to see you guys on RS2007. I will be sure to let you know where I'm playing so you can join me, um, all six of you, and, <laughs> and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Bless me. <coughs> Bless me. Ooh, that was a nasty one. Anyway, as I was saying, as I wipe snot away from my nose. <laughs>